Simply Me, Lisa G. Good morning. It's Simply Me, Lisa G. Still here. Woke up at the hotel and it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> Letting some light shine in. We are hungry. So we're about to go get some breakfast and get our day started and see and see what's on the agenda for today. Oh look. I, it's been real. Oh, forgot the keys. Checkout time. We're hungry, so we're gonna get breakfast. Got the keys, ready to go. It's over, just making sure we didn't forget anything. Don't wanna leave nothing behind. Uh, no, no, no. We didn't leave anything behind. Oh, here we did. We just checked out using a digital key. If you haven't used a digital key, it really makes things convenient. Hey everybody, I just wanted to mention a very cool hack. If you haven't thought about it already, and you have little ones, and you have an extra stroller, and you have a lot of things to carry, I'm gonna show you what you can do. Use that stroller to carry your stuff. Why not? You have it. <laughs> You've been carrying the stroller for so many years already, right? You're already used to it. Why not? It's better than this. It's better than this. <laughs> My safety. Hey, Lisa. will make way for eight lanes. Four general use lanes from Tampa to St. Petersburg, four express lanes. That's two lanes from St. Pete side towards Tampa and two lanes from the Tampa side towards St. Pete. It's also gonna have a bicycle pedestrian pathway separate from the roadway. Now, once all is said and done, the existing southbound, that's the Tampa to the St. Pete bridge, will be converted to the new northbound eastbound I-275, that's St. Pete to Tampa. And once everything is said and done, it's gonna to move to the final alignment and the existing northbound bridge will be removed altogether. So we're looking forward to this. In the coming years, everybody is gonna ease traffic up significantly. All right, so we pulled up at Dunkin' to get a little java, right? And for the first time, I'm gonna be trying the matcha latte and with oat milk. They were able to make it non-dairy, so hey, can't wait to see what it tastes like. All right, everybody, so we just stopped by Dunkin' to get a little java. Um, I actually got the matcha latte with oat milk. So here's my first taste, I'm gonna give you a reaction. If you like matcha, I will recommend this. Definitely tastes a strong matcha flavor in there. And it has that foam, foaminess of the latte. And it's hot. I got the hot. There's a hot and ice option. Cheers. New Leaf Cafe. Um, we're not going to have our breakfast from here, but hubby likes their loaded chili cheese fries. So we're going to go in and get some of those and then head to the next spot. Alrighty, so we just stopped by New Leaf and Hubby's stuff smells really good. It was ready. They're so friendly there. Um, nice homely atmosphere. Nonetheless, um, one of the G fam recommended that we try out uh, Dharma Fine Vittles. So that is where we are headed for breakfast today. We're gonna check out the, uh, Dharma Fine Vittles, see what they have on the menu, let you know what we think, and keep it moving. So we'll see you there. Dharma fine vittles. Alright. So it's like a lot of fun activities. They have kayak rental out here. Okay. We're actually at the um market. It's a lot going on. It is so beautiful out here. 
and actually it's just a beautiful day all together so this is actually a very nice place if you have not been here yet I definitely recommend it and I will definitely be back look at this oh we're gonna have to get out on the water babe it's definitely a vibe Ooh, wait a minute look at that manatees touch it but don't feed them Go down this ramp, get a closer view. This is one of those um, pedal boats, so that's really awesome. I definitely want to try that one day. Looks like fun. Taking the scenes, get a little cardio. <laughs> There's our Dharma Fine Vittles right there. We'll be there in a moment. Catfish, or not, well, fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think you can see them. They're huge. They're huge. It's public market. Are these oversized checker, um, checker boards? That is pretty cool. Checker or chef. Checkers or chef boards. <laughs> yeah. decided what I'm gonna get so I think I'm gonna go with the slaw dogs, the Creole grits, the cheesy homie. And that's it. I think hubby's gonna get the slaw dogs and the garlic rosemary mashed potatoes and maybe one of these um pecan sandy sandwiches or something. Thank you fine gentlemen. We can take elevator or we can There's the stairs. Order is ready, so hubby went to go get it while I um, secure the table. It's nice, they have sanitizer at every table so that you can sanitize before you eat. The tables are socially distanced and you can eat outside, so that's really cool. And the next thing I'll show you is our food from we're gonna enjoy our food and move on to the next thing. These, I'm just gonna show them to you so we can eat. It's hot out here. That's the garlic mash. That's his. I got the grits. We have the wrong platters. We're gonna switch. There it is. We'll taste it and let you know. All right? We will taste it and let you know. We're gonna switch a roux, switch a roux. All right. All right, everybody, we just got done eating and it was pretty good. We'll give you some more details and specifics when we get back into the vehicle. But we're just going to take in some of this uh, ambiance. <laughs> oh, look, the water taxi, I think. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Let me get a close up. We definitely have to do that when we come back out here. Just be on the water, period. <laughs> Find out eventually that up there is a bar. You cannot eat there unless you're buying their small plates and tapas to eat up there. But that is an option as long as you're buying their food. You cannot bring outside food upstairs. 
lots of areas to sit out here and the whole area has this artificial turf this is actually artificial you can come out and picnic everybody is socially distanced so that's pretty cool all right everybody so we are on our way we got back in the vehicle we're on our way to head back and go get the kids um so by the way i'm not sure if you've noticed yet pause the video comment down below if you've noticed anything okay so i did a thing <laughs> That's all I have for now. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed taking an afternoon or a day date with us today. Thank you for joining us. Yes, so before I close out the video, um, I did want to talk about Dharma Fine Vittles. Thank you, and I will um, thank you to my um, G fam who recommended, I'll shout you out right here <laughs> thank you for recommending um we tried the slaw dogs and the slaw dogs well you saw what we tried the slaw dogs were good so if we head back that way we'll definitely be getting those again um i did not try the cheesecake brownie yet i did get that so um cheesecake and brownies you can take two good things and put them together it's got to be popping right i'm not sure if i'll be able to let you know when i have it the grits were just there was they weren't like oh my gosh these are the best grits ever they were just grits they were grits and they were they were cool for, for grits right um the cheesy homies they were all right they were a little salty but they were they were good they were fine um i probably do less salt um what else did we have cheesy homies grits oh you had the garlic rosemary the garlic rosemary mash it was it was again mashed potatoes so um, the thing that stood out for us, and please drop a comment below if you have any recommendations. We didn't try the Macs. Um, maybe another, next time we'll try. I know they have a, a macaroni flight where they give you three different types of macaroni. So um, we'll definitely maybe try that out the next time. Definitely maybe. That's oxymoron, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. So um, we're on the road, as you can hear. Thanks for joining me on the ride. We had a splendid time great ambiance out there at um, Armature Works. <laughs> if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Join the G-Fam. We have a lot of great things coming to you. And we'll see you next time.